Hey guys, it's Devin and today I have a fall makeup tutorial and this is just a cool matte, really easy to do look. I was inspired to try something a little different rather than the shimmery warm tone eyes that everybody seems to be pumping out lately. So this is my take on it. I just wanted to briefly mention before we get started that when I filmed this video, I did not intend for it to be a voiceover, so I do talk and I don't get as many great product shots in there, but in editing, I decided it'd be best as a voiceover, so let's get started. So first, I'm just going to start out by priming my eyes, and I'm just going to place this all over the lid area as well as the lower lash line just to create an even base to work on. Today I'm going to be using my Morphe 35W palette and I'm first going in with a matte ivory shade which is essentially the same shade as my skin tone and I'm just going to be applying this all over where I applied the primer just to make sure that we don't get any skips in the shadows. First I'm going with my transition shade which is just this really light cool matte brown and I'm just applying that lightly in the crease and then slightly building it up with a blending brush. We're also going to drag that color under the eye with a pencil brush. Now I'm going in with a deeper, more chocolate brown, and I'm going in with a more precise brush, and I'm applying that mostly on the outer half of the lid, starting in the crease and then blending down, on, down onto the actual lid, and then taking that first blending brush and just smoothing out those, uh, those harsh lines. And then doing the same thing, dragging that darker shade under the lash line as well. Now I'm going in with this grayer toned dark brown, and I'm just going to take that on a smaller flat brush and just apply that right in the outer corner just to add some more depth. And then of course blend that out with a clean fluffy blending brush and then dragging that along the lower lash line as well. You guys get the drill. So now I'm going in with that first matte cool brown and I'm just going to basically smoke out the whole eye until it looks how I want it. And now I'm going to go back in with that first ivory shade that I used and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with it as well as place it on the lid just to bring a little bit more depth into the darker corner and you know because it looks better and now i'm going in with a matte black shadow and i'm going to use this to kind of give myself some smoky liner not going to be winging anything out today just going to be building a medium thickness line on the top and then also dragging that on the lower lash line and now i'm also going to tight line and line my waterline with my black pencil just to make it a little bit more smoky and a little bit more dramatic and now that that is laid down i'm going back in with that darkest brown shade and just deepening up that outer corner just a little bit more until i have like the perfect balance that i want Moving on to mascara, I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara as always and just applying a thin layer on the top and then a more articulate layer on the bottom just because that is a little bit more visible because I am using falsies today. And I'm using Demi Wispies and I applied those with the House of Lashes Lash Glue and yeah, I just feel like these really added a lot to the look and kind of made it more, more better. <laughs> Moving on to the face, I am mixing two BB creams, the Dream Fresh BB Cream and the Dream Pure, mostly because I had two different shades and I thought that this would make a good combo for my, for my face skin. So I'm just applying that all over the face in a liberal, liberal fashion, and then I'm just going to blend that out with a flat top brush. I'm going to do a bit of concealing and I'm going to use my trusty L'Oreal True Match Concealer and then, you know, conceal any spots that I feel like I need a little bit of extra coverage. So basically like my whole face <laughs> and then I'm just going to blend that out with a duo fiber brush. Since the BB creams are not matte whatsoever, I am taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and just applying that all over the face to eliminate any shine that I don't want, which is basically all of it. Now going to my brows, I'm just using my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara as always to fill in, and then I'm going to do a little bit of extra shaping using my NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade.
And then just combing through those with the spoolie to make sure that there are no clumps of product stuck up in there. And now I'm going to highlight and contour using my Wet n Wild contour palette. So first I'm just going in with the contour shade and I'm going to apply that on the cheekbones, the sides of the nose, and then I'm going to highlight the under eye area, mostly in a triangular shape. And then down the center of the nose, as well as the center of the chin. Now to add a little shimmer, I'm just going to use my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in a Moonstone and just apply that all over the cheekbones, the tip of the nose, as well as the Cupid's bow, because y'all know how I feel about highlighting by now. For blush, I am going to use my Coastal Scents 10 Blush Palette, and I'm just going in with a Dusty Rose, and this stuff is super, super pigmented, so I'm using an incredibly light hand, just applying that on the apples of the cheeks and brushing it backwards. Now on the lips, I'm using this Scone Cosmetics Lip Liner in Wine. This came from my last question mark Ipsy bag, maybe? I don't know. I think that it is the perfect color for fall. It is that perfect berry that isn't too red, isn't too purple, isn't too pink, and I am just a fan. So I'm going to be completely lining my lips in this pencil, and that is the only thing I'm going to put on my lips. Now I'm going to douse my entire existence in setting spray. And then that completes this tutorial. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. If you like this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There is a link to that on the screen, as well as all of my social media links, which are also listed down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.